Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore on the 20th Anniversary Edition. The Agarand family was the most prosperous family in Tirisfall Glades. I used to work their mills before the plague. When the scourge first came, the Agamans fortified their home and convinced those in their employ to remain and help them defend. We were fools, but at least we were loyal fools. The Agamans, in their pride, doomed us to undeath. And now they are minions of the Scourge. Serve the Forsaken by defeating the Agamans who fell to the plague. Serve me by bringing me their remains. Devlin Agamand was the younger of two sons in the Agamand family. And in life, the two could not be more different. Thurman was tall and gentle, while his younger brother was weak and sharp-tongued. When Agaman Mills fell to the plague, I was not surprised to hear that Devlin was quick to succumb. His mad chattering can still be heard near the road leading to the Agamand Mills. I'm collecting the remains of the Agamans, and I want poor Devlin. Find him, destroy him, and bring me his bones. It's so cold now. The plague of undeath crawls through my veins like an icy serpent. The mindless state will be upon me soon. But no doomed destiny will prevent me from serving our Dark Lady. When the call arose, I sewed body bags for the fallen soldiers of Sylvanus's mighty army. Now my hands shake from the chill. If you would bring me five dusk bat pelts and some coarse thread, I could sew myself a blanket. Help me, adventurer, so that I can continue to serve the cause. The documents Executor Aaron provided are just the break we needed in our battle with the wretched Scarlet Crusade. We now know their exact locations throughout Tirisfall Glades. But the Death Guard has larger concerns. The Lich King's army grows in number each night. We need someone with initiative like yourself to drive the Scarlet Crusade to the grave. Prove to me you are capable of serving the Dark Lady by traveling west to the tower past the Soliden farmstead and slay ten Scarlet Warriors. The mass graves, southwest of Garen's haunt to the north, were made to accommodate the impressive number of deaths Tirisfall suffered when the plague first came. The bodies in these graves have so far been spared and undeath, but the Scourge now send rot-hide gnolls to gather the corpses and use them to bolster their armies. This cannot be allowed. Your task is twofold. Slay the rot-hides at the mass grave in Garen's haunt and gather from them the embalming ichor that gives them life. Lady Sylvanas has called upon the Royal Apothecary Society. The Dark Lady believes our knowledge coupled with the newfound magic will provide the key to Arthas's demise. She has challenged us to concoct a new plague, a plague deadlier than any ailment on Azeroth. This new disease will bring Arthas's scourge army to ruin. My studies show that the blood of beasts might prove to be the key. Bring to me five vials of Darkhound blood so I can test my theory. Time is a luxury that is not afforded to those of us under the employ of Lady Sylvanas. Surely you know this by now. As a member of the Royal Apothecary Society, it is my duty to share my knowledge with my colleagues so that our collective efforts might one day provide the Dark Lady with the new plague she so badly desires. Take these findings to Apothecary Renferal, who is stationed at the Sepulchre in Silver Pine Forest. Follow the roads to the south from Brill. From the Undercity, go southwest. Scourge have trickled into Tirisfall Glades and have infested the area west of Brill, near the Old Bridge. Go there and beat back the rotting dead and ravaged corpses you find. Scatter their bones and bring back their putrid claws, and the Death Guards will reward you. That was a lot of dialogue, my goodness. Alrighty then, so we have our wand now, we're busy training the wand. I can see like how much faster now we're farming compared to before. We just have infinite mana now, if that makes sense. 
We put a dot on and we just won. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And in our skill tree, we go down a skill tree that gives us more one damage. And then we can just wander away. Pretty simple, straightforward. And the DPS is actually pretty high. I mean, look at that, we're doing 20 DPS. We have like infinite mana right now, 20 DPS. There's a rare. A level six rare, dude. It's got junk from it. Okay, now we're just running around looking for bats, I think. Oh, we need to kill the doggies also. So many deaths, dude. I think we need to change this. This should be two seconds, not one. One is a bit slow. Uh, sorry, a bit fast. for free I 
Yeah, you keep forgetting to skin Mabri. Looks like this guy only needs the hounds. The damage is really good, man. I'm so impressed. And it's only gonna get better as we level up. Increasing that one damage even more. If we can get that one my warlock has, that would be so insane. From Dead Mines. It's a blue wand. It's really strong. We got a bat as a pet. Orc. Orc hunter. Goodness, look how this map looks like, dude. It looks like your face. <laughs> Just spots everywhere. Wait, sorry, it's... It's a bad joke, my bad. DPS now. More one damage activate. What? You still fail attempting. I thought you're better than this lady. Come on. What the heck? What the heck again? You got to be kidding me. Two more bats. Don't have that much bag space available. Thank you. 
guys are cursing together, it looks like. <laughs> oh, is that also the, the map is supposed to look like? Goodness, we have a map, guys. Doesn't look like your face anymore. <laughs> what have we here? You look like a fledgling adventurer. If you hope to prove yourself to the Dark Lady, you need to learn the ways of the Forsaken. To the west, you'll find a farm. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. And worse yet, the Scarlet Crusade patrols nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. Once you have ten, take them to Apothecary Johan in Bill. Killing farmers. Hey, this is what happens the whole time in my country. I live in South Africa. You know? There's so many farm murders that they don't even show it on the news anymore. It's like, it, it's like a regular day now in, in South Africa. Do yourself a flavor and just do some research on it, Mabri. You'll be surprised and fall off your chair. That guy's running to it, so I'll run to this one. Stand in the middle so they don't know which one I click. Because I'll click on both. About the scarecrow. These guys are so low level though. Do I need the last one? I love classic wow. A rabbit, a level one rabbit resisted my spell. Why are you killing? Why are you killing rabbits, Mabri? What, what, what are you doing?
Whoa, what the? Was it fire? Was it the warlock? So many low levels dudes dying, man. What what the heck? What like what are what are you doing? Instead of dying, just uh, be awesome instead, you know. Play safe. Don't rush. Do what you need to. Like I did, I went to go farm 60 cloth. Recommended that you do the same. Like just imagine how much easier my quest would have been in the previous video, right? Uh, this part, if I had a wand. I would be blazing through the game, bro. But it doesn't really matter. Like I have the wand now. And we're Gucci. Oh, uh, we're done with the quest. Now we just need a good wand. This is a great starting wand, but you can get so much better. Alright, can't believe I actually did so many quests already. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste your time. I'll meet you guys once we're back here. Well done. I regret not being there to see you smash those undead into rotting pulp. The Scourge are trying to form a base at the Agamond Mills. If they do, then they can stage further attacks within Tirisfal. The orders have been given. The Scourge in the Mills must be destroyed. Go to the Mills, collect notched ribs from Rattle Cage and Cracked Skull soldiers, and blackened skulls from Dark Eye Bonecasters. To get to the mills, follow the road west. After crossing the bridge, take the next fork north, then keep going north. When you see windmills, the battle will begin. You have done well, adventurer, and I thank you for your efforts. While you were collecting samples for me, my experiments led me to realize that more reagents will be required for this new disease to spread properly. Poisoning some hapless victim is child's play. Plaguing an entire world proves to be a bit more complicated. I will need five vile fin scales from murlocs in the vicinity. You will find the creatures along the coast, to the north or to the west. You have performed your bidding well, young adventurer. You are proving yourself to be quite an asset to the Dark Lady's army. Harmless pumpkins, right? Or so it would seem. If we are to defeat Arthas's advances from the north and the human infestation from the south, we need to start realizing the full potential of our gift of undeath. With a little ingenuity, a simple pumpkin becomes an agent for our Dark Lady. 
This pumpkin laced with my latest formula will prove to be quite a treat. Yet another Scarlet Zealot has been captured and is being kept in the cellar of the Gallows End Tavern. Take this pumpkin to the fool. Most excellent adventurer, your skill in the art of combat is undeniable. The strategic documents from Executor Aaron contain all the details we need to wipe the human infestation from the lands. According to the information, the Scarlet Crusade has assigned Captain Perrine and a brigade to the ruined tower southwest of Brill. Kill Perrine along with three zealots and three missionaries and report back to me. Executor Zigan tells me you've been out killing Scarlet Crusaders. Tirisfal Glades is crawling with them. Varimathras, Lieutenant to the Dark Lady, is seeing to it personally that the scum of Azeroth, the human race, gets wiped into oblivion. Here in Tirisfal Glades, we face a particularly annoying breed of humans, the Scarlet Crusade. Venture forth and wage an offensive on the Scarlet Crusade, adventurer. Bring me back ten Scarlet Insignia rings as proof of your loyalty to Verimathras and the Dark Lady. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of people here. Found a way to jump over it. What else are we doing here? Trying to find three rings. Oh man, that quest. Bro, there's just way too many people here, man. So many people in the guild are starting to do ROC. Two out of ten rings.
Ugh. I shouldn't have come here. We should have done this quest on the hill over there. I think most people that use uh, rested XP will be over here. The Warlock Swarm. Feels like everyone has one except me. Oh, another ring, nice. Farming the rings now, I think. Anyway. Nice. I I I shouldn't open with uh with the dot. We should want. Did it again. Because the wand doesn't tag immediately, by the way. That's that's why I'm saying this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, nice. I was drinking a potion mid fight, bro. Making me scared. You see, they, they're not saying we should farm the rings. I find this kind of weird, though. It's like the map is still. Sh oh, it's the rings. Yeah, you're gonna farm the rings somewhere else. Imagine having bags. Give him a tank, RFC lost spot. House is looking. Why is that green? Shift plus click is who? Kill undeads here. If I ever have to do reset, like, I will... I'll get level 5, and I'll just uh, instantly get my one, dude. It's just too good not to get, dude. Honestly.
goodness. Make my inventory full, bro. Full of shit. Who needs a bag, bro? No one. Okay, three skulls achieved. I try to please buff him. Five a rip cage. strong I'm kidding dude we're just fighting green enemies so it seems like we're really strong but in theory we're not we're just an average girl both. I think we can LOS. No, no. This house doesn't exist in their world. Stop it. the Mabri.
Okay, so now we're done. So we're going to go to the null side. Level 10 enemy. I can fit through this. Hey, we did. Be careful, don't take too much full damage. Follow the waypoint safely. That guy's afraid of heights. Life harvest. Like what? What is that? Give me that bag is full. Don't show that again. Spirit reduced by two for three minutes. So for three minutes, we're going to look like a shadow priest. Murlocs for their eyes. Oh, these are casting Murlocs. Level 8. Okay, so we can take on both. So we need their fins and their eyes? No, it's just fun. Oh, someone had seven murlocs on them, dude. What the heck? Maybe you try to touch a chest. That bag is full. Okay, we're done. Thirty-four seconds for this debuff to be gone. Be gone, your debuff. You're such a debuff, dude. Thank <laughs> you. 
We need ichor from them as well. That bag is full. Oh yeah, I made an observation when I played the game back in the day that you farm them easier at the bottom, the Ikur. I don't care for that. Why is he walking so weird? Like I have a slow on him. That bag is full. What about this bag? But that bag is full also. And this one? Now that, that bag is full. This one? No, that, that one is also full. Now why don't you just say bag is full? Why is it that bag? It's all bags then. This is worth 72. Come on, my brie. I need more. More enemies to kill. Oh, no. Almost got buried alive, bro. What the fuck happened? Huh? What just happened? It's where it takes so long to log in. Okay. I don't know what that disconnect was.
But we're in a different layer now as well. down here. Alright. Let's go hand in and do some work. Why did I just randomly disconnect? I promise you it wasn't my internet in. I was like, yeah, we do have a lot of add-ons. And Deathlog is taking the most most RAM out of everything. And such a useless add-on. Like, I just want to see people die. Get, like, a list, you know. But this box over here is... It's a bit much. If it's there, uh, like, the whole time. What are you looking for? Your efforts in the war are felt among us, adventurer. I will not thank you for doing what is necessary, but the Death Guards of Tirisfall will remember your name. The scales are perfect, adventurer. Exactly what I needed for this concoction. While you were out gathering, I uncovered some old text in one of my tomes that indicates that an ancient plague wiped out thousands of innocent victims. Later, it was discovered that the deadly agent in the plague was preserved through the venom of nightweb spiders. Bring me some venom from a vicious nightweb spider to complete this experiment. I want to see if the contagious element from the venom will work with my new concoction. Rumor has it, the spiders can be found in eastern Tirisfall glades. Maggot Eye's dastardly acts have finally been avenged. Maybe your acts of valor will send a clear message to those who wish to bring harm to our people. On behalf of the town of Brill, I thank you, adventurer. Captain Perrine's death will undoubtedly please the Dark Lady. You have performed your duty well, adventurer. We are still at war, and the Scarlet Crusade grows in strength. The report Executor Aaron sent me indicates Scarlet Crusaders have been raiding from the ruined tower in southeastern Tirisfall, near the Balnir farmstead, under the command of Captain Vashon. Kill Vashon along with five Scarlet Friars. It should prove to be a devastating blow to the Crusade. Expertly done, adventurer. The Scourge are mistaken if they think they can use those corpses against us, and the fluid you gathered from the Rothide slaves will be studied by our apothecaries. It may have secrets we can use against them. As I said, well done. But our struggle continues, and the conflict will surely offer you more chances to prove your worth to the Forsaken. I need a fresh report from our Death Guard way station to the east. I must know if more Scourge forces have slipped past the Bulwark and into Tyrusfall. Our vigilance on the border to the Plague Lands must be maintained. We can't let the Scourge get a stronger foothold here. Travel south along the road, then east at the Fork to the way station. Speak with Death Guard Linnea. She has the information I need. Bethor Ishard, a high-ranking and powerful mage in the Undercity to the south, commands me to send him an agent with proven worth against the Scourge. You, adventurer, will be that agent. Present these orders to Bethor. He will then instruct you on your mission. I don't know its details, but it deals with recruiting a wayward lich. And it will be dangerous. So ready yourself, adventurer. You must not fail. You may find Bethor in the magic quarter of the Undercity. Oh, my poor Thurman. I begged him to leave Agamand Mills with me and my father, but his family loyalty was too strong, and I knew it. I just knew it that Brand meant him harm. Oh, curse this plague and the scourge, but regrets are for the weak. As a Forsaken, I have new goals, and love is not one of them. 
I would thank you for delivering this letter, for I had wondered what happened to my past love. But that life is over, forever. Revenge has a sweet taste, don't you think? When you destroyed the Agamans, did you catch any hint of free will within them? I hope so. I hope they knew fear before they were smashed into oblivion. It is a foolish hope, I know. But it is a hope I foster nonetheless. Thank you. Devlin's bones will rest nicely on my mantle. If my cold heart can find warmth, it is in knowing that the Agamans are destroyed. They failed me and my family when the plague came. Now I swear I will smash their remains under my heel. You have given me the remains of the Agamans and satisfied my desire for revenge. But the Agamand mills hold a threat to all the Forsaken, not just to me. I have spoken to Magistrate Severin of your exploits against the Agamans, and he wishes to speak with you. I appreciate your efforts, adventurer. May Sylvanus recognize your bravery one day. Coleman speaks well of you, adventurer, telling of your successful forays into the Agamand Mills. The Forsaken have need of your talents once again. The Agamand Mills area has become a foothold for the Scourge. Their strongest point is the Agamand Family Crypt, where their local military leader, a skeleton named Captain Dargol, has headquartered. With necromancy, he has raised the ancestors of the Agamands and plans to use them against us. This cannot pass, and you must stop it. Travel to the Agamand family crypt and defeat the raised Agamand ancestors. And bring me the skull of Captain Dargon. What are you looking for? Is a guard? Fields of grief. That's what I'm looking for. Remember, patience. What now? What are you looking for? Where do I hand in fields of grief, dude? I honestly don't know. Rest your weary bones for a spell. I feel like it's a quest that maybe takes a long time down here. I mean, he dies, something happens. Then there's a human. Like, what? He spawned again. There we go. By the light, finally some food. Sweet, sweet pumpkin. And I think that's it. The heck is these flashings, dude? Okay, so now we're not heading to Undercity yet, okay. Magistrate Severin wants a report. Very well. The defenders at the Bulwark are holding the majority of the Scourge at bay, but some do slip through on occasion. We have seen sporadic Scourge activity east of this station, with a concentration around the Balnir farmstead. Now return to Magistrate Severin with the information I gave you. He'll want it as soon as possible, so be swift. And if you see any scourge on your way back, take them down. 
We can't let them wander our lands unchallenged. The defenders on the bulwark protecting Tirisfall from the plague lands are on constant alert, but sometimes Scourge will slip past them. Our success at the bulwark depends on a one front battle. We cannot allow an attack from the rear, nor can we allow our defenders' supply line to be cut. Assist the bulwark, patrol east, and slay any Scourge you find. Spend particular effort at the Balnir farmstead to the east. It has become a haven for interloping Scourge. Uh, let me just see your uh, options, add-ons, death log. Here we go. Allow guild guildless death log. I want it to be at least smaller. Okay, I don't know what that did. Add-ons. No, not add-ons. Options. Add-ons. Oh. Here we go. The mini log is fine. I like the mini log. Death alert, this thing. Guild only. I mean, no. Can someone die quickly? Now that I want to fix this... Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, it already looks better, right? Just like this is fine. Now, what the fuck? Where is it? Okay, no alert is also fine. Just use the mini death log. I can live with that. Oh, we need to heal. Oh, 
There we go. What the fuck, dude? Got another bag. Yeah, the shoot thing doesn't work. I need to macro it. The wand. I don't have a priest buff on me as well. And we also need to use this buff, right? The inner fire. So there's a few tell me when stuff we need. Priest buff. If we have no priest buff. <laughs> if we have no inner fire. Because, like, the inner fire, it gives a holy energy that fills the caster, increasing armor by 315. 315. Only costs th 30 mana to cost, so... So we need the undeads now, we need one more. So at level 14, we get our fear and we get renew rank 2. I don't think, I honestly don't think we're going to play with smite. It's 
So this is where we're going to farm the rings, by the way. We have 5 out of 10 rings. Priest is 35. Bro, what the fuck is happening? It takes forever to log in. In a different layer. Yeah, me too. Okay, I it's not just me. Go to direct X10, boys. I can only do direct X 11 or 12. Is it layers crashing? Wow, layer crash. Dude, look at how many people are dying now. I thought it's my add-ons. I was ready to like get rid of add-ons soon. Agronol. How many died because of DC? This guy is saying he died.
No. No. It, it seems that layers is crashing. It seems like layers is cla crashing the game, dude. Bro, I'll, I'll take the other guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's just running around here. There's like one there. There's one here. We're still farming rings, bro. I got no mage buff, dude. He got priest buff. I got no mage buff. Not that it matters too much, but it's the idea that matters. I mean, I have a wand, bro. We don't need that. Be careful. They can cause lesser heal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. So now we gotta kill bats, right? It's bats, yeah, bats or spiders. Seems like it's spiders. Priest. Bro, it's just spider bodies everywhere. Bro, go for that one. Oh, he's done. Goodness. Job's done. Level 13 has to be okay for RFC, dude. 100%. We have to do a pre-quest, otherwise we can do it again tomorrow. But... This is my last day, and then my... Then my World of Warcraft uh, subscription is done. And I'm only going to renew it if... If WoW does well on the channel. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. One mistake can cause a wipe. One DC can cause a wipe. Healer, one DPS for RFC. You fine with a level thirteen healer?
Very good. Your efforts do much to keep the Scourge at bay. A commendation will be sent to my superior, Executor Zygon. Quick about your business. How quick? Very quick. Captain Vashon's death will slow down the Scarlet Crusade's advancement in Tirisfal quite a bit, but other threats loom. Scarlet Crusaders have been raiding from the ruined tower in northern Tirisfal, past Fael's Rest. According to the information we have, a ruthless commander named Captain Melrock is in charge of this evil crew. I am entrusting you now with a special and dangerous mission. Slay Melrake and his two bodyguards in the name of the Dark Lady. Varim Mathras would be proud. You serve your leaders well, adventurer. Ah, this venom will do perfectly, adventurer. Everything else has been added to my concoction and boiled down. Finally, I am ready to try this new deadly agent. According to the Death Guard, another one of those foolish Dwarven Mountaineers has just been captured. The Death Guard likes to use the cellar of the Gallows End Tavern as a holding cell until prisoners can be properly dealt with. Why don't you go see how the captured Mountaineer enjoys this special drink I made for him? It contains a subtle hint of what the Dark Lady has planned for the rest of Azeroth. It is troubling to hear of the Scourge slipping past the Bulwark. The Lich King and his minions are ceaseless in their assaults, but we will not give in. He will not take us again. Ah, oh, a drink at last! I'm sure it's no Rhapsody Malt, but I'll take anything to wet the old whistle at this point. To wet the old whistle. Okay, now we're running to Undercity. I wonder why they made such weird, like, bell noises. As music if you're in that place. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> I hate being a cow, but a Mulgore is just so chill. Just a chill cow? If that's a thing, I guess. Mummy milkers. <laughs> so many people dying breaks my heart. Grab the waypoint. I think it then showed to craft the wand, but then it realized we have one. 
Leave through the sewers. I honestly don't know how to. Okay, we drop down here. Then here, then we run to the right. Mighty that screen, dude. A greener green they couldn't choose, I swear. I remember when I played the game for the first time, I actually asked people, like, dude, it's acid. Will you die if you touch it? I thought that will kill you. Or at least damage you over time, like drowning speed or lava speed. Uh, oops. Well, now that we're here... We're clearly in the wrong place, dude. How will this benefit me? I'm always on the winning side. Oh. So that is, yeah, RFC. Wow, one more level and uh, we have all in ones. You see, then it then it tells us to go into shadow damage. Oh, the sewer exit is there. Yeah, Torn do feel so slow. That's true. They do. Especially the male Torn. It's maybe also why I enjoy playing female. Because they're running seems better. Even Torn, like if I play Torn, it's always female. Okay, so we're done with the first zone. Kill Wangs, you need to get 
six hearts. Trust me when I say this, there's going to be more than enough. getting so much leather. Hey, what are you doing? Give me your leather also. How much do we even make with light leather? 15 copper each. So bad. party Hey There's one guy here that's not in the group, man. Loads are standing around it. No. <laughs> you just got trolled, bro.
Didn't your mama teach you to share? Uh, boar until twin uh, until level twenty, then cat. I am. Thank you for the aid, adventurer. I had feared Erland was overcome by the dangers of Silverpine. With your help, I see that he has not. Although Quinn's wounds are mending, I want to get our report to High Executor Hadric as quickly as possible. It has information that is vital to the Forsaken's occupation of Silverpine. My brother Quinn was badly hurt by the ghoul Ivar the Fowl, and I don't know if he will heal properly without magical aid. Although I am not an apothecary, I do know that our apothecaries can make healing potions from the discolored hearts of wargs. Gather such hearts and take them to Apothecary Renferl at the Sepulcher to the south. Then return here with the potion. You can find plenty of wargs between here and Malden's Orchard to the east. I don't know. For me, when it comes to leveling a hunter, in my in my uh, opinion, you play boar until level twenty. Once you have the movement speed out of uh, like outside, you play cat from then on forward. That's it. Like that's it. Why? Why? Why that? Well, it's because you you want to be in range form the whole time. And boars do it best, right? Because they charge. And then cats will be faster. And they'll keep aggro a lot easier from level 20 onwards. I don't know if orcs have that problem though, but my dwarf definitely did. My my dwarf hunter kept pulling aggro off the pet, off the boar. So I think orcs they will have it better because they will be uh, they have increased pet damage. I do want to finish this quest, though. I wonder why some of the dots is blue. Some of them are red. We're just dead bodies everywhere, man. Like, can I also kill some?
Hey, another priest was skinning. And here I thought I was the only one. We rarely ever do see priest die. It's a level 11. Look at all these warriors dying, bro. All these hunters and warriors. They're talking about shamans in the guild. How many? We still need three hearts, dude. These bitches just ain't spawning. I know there's a lot here in the farm, but I think that's where most people are, so that there's just like dead bodies everywhere. There's another one on the left here. Getting double light leather now. Another wolf. Level 18 rogue. That before can do it again. So another one here. But I feel like this one is a little more contested than the the other one. Thank you. 
why don't we have a guild discord? And the guy's response is, we don't even have a guild tabard yet. <laughs> Finally, Mabri. Goodness, that took forever. The thing is, if we didn't do it now, because after we hand in this quest, I think it's gonna tell us to use Hearthstone, and we'll go back to Razor Hill, and then we should do the uh, the prequest for the dungeon. Then we should do the prequest for the dungeon. How do people die there? Waves at you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Want to sell a hunting bow? Not even match. Another big layer crash. People keep saying it's direct X. Dude, it's a layer. I think there's too many people playing. What a name. He actually got the name Hitman. Lady Sylvanus has charged Varimathras with the conquering of the human and dwarven lands to the south. But that fool, Arugal, charlatan of Dalaran and now cursed beast of Shadowfang Keep, let his reckless magic wreak havoc with the strategic stronghold of Silverpine Forest. I need someone skilled in the ways of combat to help clean up Arugal's mess. Prove yourself to me by killing five Moon Rage White Scalps. The wretched beasts can often be found just off the road down the hill below. As you may know, the town of Ambermill remains a source of human opposition, mainly through the support they receive from the wizards of Dalaran. 
I don't know what their plan is, but for them to show interest in a backwater village like Ambermill indicates that it must have some greater importance. They've been shipping crates by the wagon from Hillsbrad. Many of those supplies end up at a small camp north of Pyrewood Village. Retrieve the contents of a crate and return them to me. Oh. I hadn't accounted for the level of scourge presence we've seen in Silver Pine Forest, nor for the troubles our Death Stalkers have had in their scouting efforts. Your aid to our Death Stalkers was invaluable, adventurer. And you will be commended. While you were out helping our Death Stalkers, Apothecary Renferl sent you a summons. He did not give me details, but he wanted to speak with you about the wolf hearts you had given him. Our initial scouting reports of Silver Pine show the Rothides have a base at an old farm to the north, the Dead Fields. We have sent small assaults against them, but each time they are reinforced by the Banshee Nightlash, who uses her magic to rout our forces. We want Nightlash destroyed. Go to the Dead Fields and assault the Rothides. If you don't see Nightlash, then kill the Rothides until she appears. Then defeat her. Her essence will turn to dust. Bring me the dust as a proof. Ah, how good of Apothecary Johan to send his research. With so many new developments here in Silverpine, I nearly forgot about the findings coming out of Lord Iran and Tirisval Glades. Which reminds me, I need to get those samples off to the necropolis soon. But you must excuse my rambling. Extend your stay in Silverpine, adventurer. You could use an able-bodied adventurer like you around here. Ah, very good. There is a matter regarding the wolf hearts you brought to me earlier that demands our attention. The wolf hearts you acquired possess a quality unseen in similar specimens. There is a toxicity to them that should be deadly to the very wolves in which the hearts beat. It's quite incredible, and we must study it further. I kept a few samples of the hearts acquired. Take them to my colleague, Apothecary Zing. You will find her in our headquarters in the Undercity. It is troubling to hear our Death Stalkers have failed their mission. Let us hope that these failures are rare. I'll give you the potion in a moment, but here is its recipe. If those Death Stalkers find themselves in need of future aid, then perhaps you can give it yourself. Here is the potion to aid in Quinn Yorick's recovery. Now, if you will excuse me, I have very important work to continue. Arthas's numbers are overwhelming. But with a new plague, we could eradicate both the Scourge Army and the human infestation once and for all. My studies have proven that spider blood combined with a toxin derived from a grizzled bear heart results in a deadly elixir. Collect samples from the spiders in the skittering dark to the northwest and from the bears wandering throughout the Silver Pine Forest. Deliver the reagents to Master Apothecary Farinel of the Royal Apothecary Society in the Undercity. All right, so guys, it's been two hours, so we're, we're actually going to end the video over here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you are new. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.